Here we are starting to set up our car for printing on layout, SketchUp layout. So the first thing we have to do is open up SketchUp layout. So I'm going to go over here and type in layout and get open SketchUp layout. When it first comes in, mine looks a little bit different than yours. Yours is just going to come up with a blank sheet of paper here. So let me get that blank sheet of paper open that yours will have. So we have to do a few things. We have to set up the paper size. We have to set up our, our workspace. So we're going to go File, Document Setup, go to Paper, and change the width to be 14 and the height to be 8 and a half. And the margins should be at a quarter inch, one fourth. And then hit Close when you're done. Then we're going to go back up to File, Page setup and change the size from letter to legal. Now the paper looks right size and the printer knows what size to print it on. Then we're going to go to file. Now we've got to bring our car in. So we got to go to file, insert. And I'm going to choose my car. I just have one that's not fully complete, but it'll be close enough for what we need to deal with. And here's a view or a window of our car. I can move that view anywhere on this sheet of paper I want. Now, over on the right-hand side, we have the default tray. We're going to keep textile open and SketchUp model open. If one of those isn't open, you can always go up to Window and turn it on. SketchUp model, textile. If you can't see the default tray, go up to Window, Show Tray. And I clicked on my view. This is called a view of my car. If I'm clicked off, this kind of grays out. If I'm clicked on, it works. I'm going to slide this up so I can see this a little bit better. On the view tab, first thing you got to do is change the scene to ortho printing. Then I want to come here where it says current scale. Click on current scale and click on full size, which is up. You can't really see it, but it's right about current scale. Now I can start stretching this so that my car actually fits in my view. I can go a little bit big and that's fine. Then I'm going to go to Styles tab and click on Background to uncheck it. So now this doesn't have that gray background that we're going to be printing. Next part, we got to get our name on here. So we're going to click on the text tool. I'm going to change this. I'm going to pick one of these that I can actually read. I'm fine if you pick anything there, but just make sure I can read it. And then change the size to 48 point. And click once in the middle. You're going to put your name and your hour on there. I can go to the select tool and I can move that around if I need. And now I'm ready to start printing. File, print. I'm going to pick RMS Tech Lab on Rogers Data. And then I can hit print. And it'll print out at the main printer. And that's all you have to do to print your car.